the iPad tonight. So uh, uh, this is the first time I've tried working with the iPhone and it probably will be a little rough, uh, but it, since we're, I think all here who are coming, shall I start the meeting? By all means. Okay. Uh, I, I think we've got like five minutes of agenda and it, it will take us longer to get into the meeting than it will to conduct. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the minutes of the, the February 2nd meeting, uh, do I have any, a motion to approve? So moved. A oh, second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'll assume that, <laughs> that the motion carried. Um, the, the, the final word on the, the restroom renovation. Um, the the restroom renovation was completed by March 22nd and the entire project took about, it started February 1st. So it took about two and a half months. And um, some of the improvements include new tile on the back walls, um, new brighter lighting, touchless fixtures at the toilet, the sink and uh, paper towel dispenser. Uh, new grab bars were also installed and the terrazzo floor tile, tiles were restored. They were um, cleaned and sanded and new door hinges were added to widen the doors to make them ADA compliant. And also the um, symbols, the universal symbols for male, female, those signs were added to the doors. And also um, the drinking fountain located between the two restrooms, the drinking fountain was moved out several inches to make it more accessible for people in wheelchairs. So that's about it. Have people been noticing and, and appreciating it? We had um, comments on Facebook. Uh, we announced the changes and we had positive feedback from pe people on Facebook. Um, but no one has really said anything, um, you know, while they're in the library. Someone even asked us why the restrooms were renovated because they felt like they really didn't need to be renovated. So uh, <laughs> we pointed out some of the improvements <laughs> that were made. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Welcome when to my life. The main thing. <laughs> <laughs> had to do it for legal reasons and they'll say things like oh yeah okay uh on to the next the the building maintenance plan i know that we we finished by saying that we don't have one we don't plan on having one but carl suggested we might want to consider it is it worthwhile talking about it again well, I have an update on that. Johnny and I have spoken that um, we are going to have our own internal maintenance um, uh, management plan for the library. So we're going to do our, our own internal analysis of the systems uh, and what we anticipate needing to budget for and repair in the both short term and long term. So we'll, we'll have a version of that plan um, that will be created internally. Now, when is that scheduled for? Because with the the item about funding, it said that maintenance, I believe, would. Well, we I'll, I'll schedule this to have it done by um, second quarter, which will be um, into July. So we could have a winter next meeting, September second. So I can I can plan to have it August second is our next meeting. Yeah, August second. Yeah, August second. So I think I can plan to have that by our next quarter meeting, at least a at least a draft plan. Oh, great. Anything else on the, the building maintenance? Anybody else want to chime in? Okay, moving along. And, and oh. Rebecca, the, the other thing I would add to that is that that with uh, with the library uh, manager, which will be Tracy, any issues that come up that we see any trending, 
um, you know, we work directly with the team at the library to manage them. So recently we yep. had a termite uh, issue and oh. um, we had the foundation treated. Uh, other tangible issues we had were um, there was a, a clog in the sanitary system. Oh, joy. And, and uh, yeah, it was really bad. Um, Carl, well, I understood you on site and you had your, your way, your, your, your gear on ready to get in that hole. Um, you know, dude, I, I have yeah. lost, I keep count. I have actually lost seven pairs of shoes to sewage and library so far. <laughs> oh my God. So, so we had a, we had a backup and it was due to, um, things that are sold as flushable that are not flushable. Uh, yeah. Um, and so it was bad and it cost the library to close down. So there are things like that that come up that, you know, we, we, we would handle as routine maintenance, but may lead to some work that it deals specifically with prevention, with maintenance for the library going on. So a good, good example will be the, the termite treatment. We treated the entire foundation and we have a maintenance plan to monitor and treat any future termite and pest issues. What was the termites eating? That's, that's concrete, right? Well, yeah, they, it, I guess they were found near a bookcase. Tracy, do you do you recall the details? I, I was yeah. very involved very little. They were actually coming in through a window located next to the um, magazine area. And um, I think there was a termite colony located outside that window. Oh, wow. So they were coming in through the window and we found them on the floor. Um, it was, it was a pretty bad problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ted Doggett, who is my operations manager, was the regional rep for Terminex, uh, for many years. So we had the right guy on the spot. He just walked in and he's like, yeah, it's a termite swarm. And he picked up the phone, called one of his former colleagues and had them come out. And yeah. And, you know, it was so, so I, was very good to have Ted because we got a price. And, um, and Ted could quickly say, no, that's not what you need. Call back and, this is, uh, and tell them to give you this. And so we, we were able to get the right treatment at the right price. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Ted is an extremely handy individual. I, am, I, I marvel at my luck every day that we have him here. Okay. Uh, the drainage problem on the north side. I, I know we've discussed it. We discussed the ice part of it last time but now we're into rainy season has there been any new problem with the rain i am not aware but if if uh, tracy could put an eye on it every time it rains that we can come out and address the issues that come up the 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 long-term solution of that would be to redo the rain catchment gutter system of that side um so there's, we'll keep working with the situation. That what's happening now is not something that's happened. Oh, sorry, the issue now is not that it's continuous. It's when you have the ice, heavy rain. So I right. think heavy rain like today would have probably caused some overflow in that area. And I, I imagine that the, the eventual solution is something that costs enough that it has to be specially budgeted? Correct. Okay. And, and lo and behold, that comes to the end of the, of the agenda. Does anybody have any new items that we haven't covered? Nothing from us. I, I would add that between the termite swarm and the sewage incident and so forth, we've had tremendously fast and very, very helpful responses from the village. So on behalf of GCPL, thank you. Thank you, Carl. I think, uh, yeah. you know, between you calling me and, and, and having the team's leaders involved, we're getting things done and done rapidly. So swiftly. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, this we, is we, a, <laughs> excuse me. This isn't a village issue, but um, I noticed that there was uh, gardening work happening out in, in front of the building the other day, the attention. Um, is there someone still maintaining the, 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 the garden along the driveway in back? The, the food garden. The food garden, yeah. Well, I'm sorry, Carl. No, no, go ahead, Tracy. 
Um, actually, uh, Connie reached out to me and um, she's very interested in gardening. So she volunteered to maintain the, the food garden and also the um, native plants that are located behind the building and along the side of the building. And she also recruited two members, uh, two people from the community to assist her with that. And um, Ted Doggett, our um, maintenance manager, he um, asked me to let her know that he'll pay for any supplies that they need. So I'm, I really appreciate Wonderful. her Great. taking Great on that, that project. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, I'll also add, Ted went in and raked out uh, all the back gardens, including the garden that you asked about, Richard. And so we're clean and ready for a more expert eye. But as Ted said, Ted's put very accurately, he said, look, these gardens were really carefully planted and I'm terrified to pull anything out of there. <laughs> yeah. well, I, um, it's, it's, I feel kind of the same way. It's like, was that a weed or is that, that not? I just, but, I, hate, I hate to see things that so much effort was put into them get, get neglected because they're not on the, you know, they're not on the front of people's minds. But if we, if Connie's taking over, so to speak, uh, it sounds like that's just perfect. Right. Yep. I don't know if anybody does. Anything else? Do I have a motion to adjourn? So move. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh. See you on August 2nd. All right. Thank you all. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you, Josue, for setting it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Josue. You're welcome. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.